There's a lot of speculation in the woodworking community whether or not it's a good idea to buy tools from Harbor Freight. Well, I bought one. It's a 14 inch oscillating spindle sander. I'm going to open the box. We're going to look at what's in it. We're going to look how it works. And then after the video, you can decide whether or not it's a good idea for you to buy one for yourself. So check it out. The very top is the instruction booklet, followed by some pieces of styrofoam, and the tool itself, which is upside down in the box. So let's take it out of the box. What we got left inside the box are the actual drum sanders themselves and some of these inserts that go on the top and that's it. One of the things I was interested to see was just how square this shaft is. I don't want to have any wobbling. I had the same problem. I had that problem with my drill press with my drum sanders that would wobble. So I'm going to go ahead and check and just see how center it is. Good enough for me. Now one of the things I noticed when I picked it up was just how light it was. Uh, I looked on the box, gross weight of 12 kilograms, uh, which is uh, around 24 pounds or so, 26 pounds. I looked on for a comparable spindle sander on Amazon.com and the shipping weight of it was 33 pounds. So it's a little bit lighter than one you would find uh, somewhere else. Probably, probably because of all the plastic in the body. So taking a look at it, you can see it's got a power switch. It's got the little safety, yellow safety tab that can be taken out so it doesn't get turned on by mistake. Uh, we've got some storage slots here for the spacers, uh, storage for the drum sanders. Uh, you saw the uh, dust port here, which is a two-inch dust port. I've got a rigid uh, shop vac, and it just slides right on. A little loose, but at least it fits. Look on the inside. Not much going on, just the motor, a few wires. Like I said, it's uh, pretty light. This one's by Central Machinery, 120 volt. 1725 RPMs. We'll go ahead and install, install one of these drum sanders and see how it works. That goes on there. And we've got these drum washers here, which the, whatever size drum sander you're using, you need to put the washer on. Then you put the drum sander. Then you find the correct size insert. Which slides right down on there. Go ahead and thread this top on here. And it does thread backwards. So let's plug it in and see how it works. Too shabby. Doesn't look like there's any wobble whatsoever. I've got this piece of quarter inch plywood. It has a couple curved cuts on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and see how it works. Pretty good. So 
So there's a storage spot for every piece that comes with the sander, which is good. And here are the sizes it comes with. Three inch, two inch, one and a half inch, one inch, three quarter inch, and one half inch. And the one half inch one looks like it just slides straight on through the shaft. As far as price goes, I paid $100 for it. Now it cost $150 retail. I found a coupon for $50 off of this exact tool, so I only spent $100. Bucks. As far as shopping at Harbor Freight, I would never go to Harbor Freight if I were you without a coupon. Uh, a lot of magazines, like for instance this Handyman magazine, which I had a recent subscription to, in every single magazine there's a Harbor Freight advertisement with a coupon. Now this was 25% off, it's expired, but I've got these other coupons 20% off. So I would always get a coupon before I go to Harbor Freight if I were you. Uh, in the case of a purchase like this, if you know you're going to spend a hundred or so bucks and you don't have a magazine subscription, you can go buy this from the store for four or five bucks, get the coupon out, and then go to Harbor Freight and save 25, 30 bucks. So uh, you buy the magazine in order to save the money. So that's just one thing you can do. That's a quick tip. Overall, I like the tool. It works well. It's got a steel top. Uh, the motion is smooth with the motor. I don't see any problems with it so far besides it being kind of lightweight and with a plastic base. But, so I would recommend it to you at this point. We'll see what happens in a few months, but uh, so far so good. I hope you found this product too informational. This video was something that I wanted to make for those of you who don't know whether or not to buy a tool from Harbor Freight. I've never bought one before, this is my first one. And having a video like this uh, available before I bought this tool would have made me feel even better, would have answered some questions. So I went at the purchase kind of blind, but hopefully it'll uh, help you out in your decision of whether to buy one or not. Whenever I get around to doing the second review of this product, after I get some use out of it, I'll add a link in this video, either in the description box below or somewhere on the screen right here. So, uh, Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see that when it comes out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great day.